Hey guys, what is up? Hope you're having a fantastic day so far, and I am here with some very exciting Steven Universe news. So the San Diego Comic-Con Steven Universe panel was today, so they obviously had a lot of information about the show, but they also had information about the new Steven Universe game, Save the Light, that is coming out this fall. But really quick before I get into it, if you guys want to remain completely spoiler free to this game, click off this video now because I'm going to be going over some information that was revealed at this panel. But with that, let's hop into it. So for the most part, the trailer just shows us things that we've already seen, a couple of locations, and that's about it, but we get to see that Greg is in fact a playable character, and then we also have Stevani. so this is two characters that we already knew about from the 20 minute gameplay that we saw at E3, but we do get some new characters here. So here we have Sardonic, so we knew that fusions would be in the game, but this is the first fusion other than Garnet and Stevani that we have seen that will be playable characters. So we have Sardonic's here, and it looks like she has a wheel that is basically um, her, her fighting move or her fusion move. Um, and it looks like it can either give you like a chest or heal a teammate, um, or it looks like Garnet and... Uh, Pearl may unfuse because since they're already fused, maybe it'll be like a penalty. Uh, some luck would increase. It looks like they have some elemental stuff with the snow there. Attack and defense up and down. Um, star points and stuff like that. So it, it looks like it's kind of like a luck based um, game show kind of uh battle mechanic here so that's pretty cool that we actually get to see another fusion and then next we have opal so yes opal is here uh, everybody wants to see more opal so this is during a boss fight uh, and i'm curious if fusions are only available during boss fights because we know that steven and connie fuse during the boss fight for that particular area and then here it looks like it is another boss fight so i'm curious um if fusions are only available during a, a boss fight here um but she has her bow really nothing notable here we just see her fire off her arrows to attack um the duke of strawberries here and uh and that's about it so nothing really specific in terms of her uh, ability or her uh fighting mechanics and then here's the big one. We get a new character, so Squaredot. So this is a Peridot, except instead of having, uh, having triangle hair, uh, she has a square <laughs> hair. Um, and then a gem on her left eye. Um, so, so this is pretty cool because uh, Shelby Rabara, who does the voice of Peridot, is going to also be voicing uh, Square Dot, and it looks like she is going to be a villain or a main villain uh, of the of the game here, um, because we'll we'll see later that that she's actually a a boss fight. Um, so, so it'll be interesting to see if Square Dot only shows up in this game, or maybe she will show up. Um, in, in the show itself because we know that Save the Light follows uh, the, the storyline of, of the show. Um, so, so I'm curious to see if Square Dot will actually show up in the, sh um, in the show itself outside of the game. But uh, yeah, no, I like the design. It's, it's cool to see a different kind of Peridot because I think it's something that we've always been wanting. Uh, so, so it's cool to actually see one you know even though it's in a game it's cool to see another peridot especially with how beloved uh peridot is and just to like see the limb enhancers again is is actually kind of nice um though i do love small peridot uh, it is cool to see the the limb enhancers again so yes so we have square dot and then here you can see that square dot is going to be a boss i don't think this is like going to be the final boss it'll probably just be a reoccurring character uh, and boss battle throughout the game and then lastly, probably the most exciting news is that Peridot is now confirmed to be a playable character in the game, so I believe that there are eight playable characters in the game, but correct me if I'm wrong. So we have Pearl, Garnet, Steven, Amethyst, Peridot, Greg, Connie, so there's one more playable character, and I believe there's also going to be a DLC character, unless the eighth character is the DLC, I'm not quite sure. Uh, so we have one more character, um, at the very least, that will be playable in the game if we're not counting DLC uh, as additional characters. Um, 
So, so yeah, so some pretty big, exciting stuff for this game. I've been pretty hyped about this game for a while now, uh, and seeing this trailer uh, has definitely increased the hype, especially with seeing the different fusions like Sardonyx and Opal uh, is, is really exciting, and also that we have Peridot and Square Dot as a, a new character and villain, uh, uh, so that's pretty exciting. Um, but yeah, so let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments below, what you think of uh, the Save the Light game, what you think of the fusion mechanic about Square about Peridot being a playable character. Let me know all of that in the comments below because I would love to hear it, but thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more Steven Universe related content, and until next time guys, take care.